Hi guys, this is Mike with DCS Tuning, and today we're going to use this B5 Passat to show you how to use the V-Checker for Volkswagens and Audis. This device runs at about 10% of the cost of a larger specialty scanner and can do nearly the same amount of work. Most cars from 1996 on will have an OBD2 port. It's going to be located within 3 feet from the driver's seat and doesn't require any tools to be revealed. Usually, it'll be somewhere in the driver's side footwell, but can sometimes be hidden in the center console. When you purchase a V-Checker, you have two options, the V-Checker Basic or the V-Checker Pro. Both of these scanners can scan and clear fault codes on non canvas vehicles. Also, they can both clear your oil service light. The main advantage you're gonna get with the V-Checker Pro is the ability to work with CAN bus vehicles. While the V-Checker Pro does CAN bus and non CAN bus vehicles, it will also allow you to run more advanced features such as viewing and recording live data for measuring blocks and performing procedures such as throttle body alignment and many more. Around 2005, Volkswagen and Audi started using CAN bus systems in their vehicles. If your vehicle is 2005 or newer, then you'll most likely need to purchase the V-Checker Pro as it's the only one that's CAN bus compatible. One of the most useful features of the V-Checker is the ability to scan and clear codes from your vehicle's control module. This can be useful even if you don't work on your own vehicle because knowing what's wrong before you take it to the mechanic can save you a lot of time and money. In some areas where smog tests are needed to pass emissions, a vehicle with a check engine light automatically fails even if the vehicle would otherwise pass. This scanner will allow you to turn off your check engine light once you've repaired the issue. Another time when one of these will come in handy is when purchasing a used car. Not all trouble codes will illuminate the vehicle's check engine light. Take this scanner with you when looking at a used car to check for electrical or mechanical problems. Now we're going to demonstrate just how effective and simple to use this tool really is. Remember, before using your V-Checker, make sure your vehicle's ignition is in the off position to avoid any damage to the scanner or vehicle's electrical components. Also, it's recommended that before you perform any tests on your vehicle, you ensure it's in running condition and check all fluid levels. To make things easier to show you, we've mounted our V-Checker inside the car. All OBD2 ports are the same, so your V-Checker should plug right in. If it doesn't, you may need to adjust the rubber edges for proper fitment. As you can see by the welcome screen, this was designed for Volkswagen Audi Group vehicles. Here, we'll show you the use and function of each button. The up arrow enables you to scroll up, and the down arrow enables you to scroll down. The left arrow is the selection button, and the right arrow is the back or return button. We're gonna go ahead and turn the ignition on. And what we're going to do now is scan the vehicle for codes. From the main menu, we're going to select the control module, engine electronics, and select non CAN bus, since this is a non CAN bus vehicle. This screen displays things such as your ECU code, engine information, and service code. Once you back out of this menu, you'll be able to read fault codes. So scroll down to fault codes. As you can see, this vehicle has seven codes. It's not recommended to clear codes without repairing your car. This car has been repaired as needed, so we're gonna go ahead and erase these codes. To clear fault codes, we're gonna go down to number four. Select clear fault codes. And as you can see, fault codes have been erased. Now we're gonna back out. Another important feature of the V-Checker Pro is the ability to see live streaming data from your measuring blocks. What we're gonna do is go to measuring block number 30, which is the post-cat O2 sensor. And before selecting it, we're going to go ahead and turn the car on. As you can see, you're going to get a value that you'll be able to compare to your service manual or log for your benefit. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and back out of this. Turn the car off. Turn the ignition back on to reestablish communication. We're gonna go ahead and back out and go to the main menu. The next important feature we wanna cover for both V-checkers would be the special functionability. What this allows you to do is reset your service oil light. Now we're gonna go ahead and go back to the main menu. And we're gonna to go to one of the most important features of the V-Checker Pro, which is the procedures. Select. Here, you'll be able to do things such as throttle body alignment, or run procedures for a variety of things, such as your remote fob, instrument clusters, or airbags. Now that we've cleared our codes and gotten the information we needed, it's time to back out to the main menu. Turn your key to the off position and unplug your V-Checker. This is the V-Checker Basic. As you can see, it still has a welcome screen. And the difference you're gonna notice between the Basic and the Pro, this one has three options for your menu. You'll be able to use the special functions option to clear your service oil light. You'll be able to scan all the modules in the car using the scan option. Or using professor mode, you'll be able to go in and individually scan each module. With this easy to use plug and play scanner, you'll be able to save yourself the time, money, and hassle of going to a shop to find out what's wrong with your car. You'll be able to identify the cause and severity of a problem before it's too late. I'm Mike with ECS Tuning, and I'll see you next time.